Last week was the 2018 CES, which of course stands for Crappy Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Crustaceans eating sushi. <laughs> Cooties eviscerating sherry. <laughs> Cars each same. How Cars each same? Yeah. That's know. actually right. It's cars each same. Yeah. <laughs> you know how they are. I was going to see how long you wanted to go with that until you got the cars each same. Candy. Nope, stop. It. You're done. You should. Hey, hey, when, leave when you're, all, when you're up. What am I trying to say? You know what I'm saying? Quit when you're ahead. Quit. Leave, leave when you're up. Uh, Consumer Electronics Show. Consumer That's what Electronics Show. Uh, it's where the coolest, weirdest, newest electronics that will soon be for sale are shown for the first time. So it's time to play Real or Fake Consumer Electronics Show Product, Consumer Electronics Show Edition. I'm gonna tell you about a product. Uh, it may be one of the new products from CES, from Cars Each Same, or it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get three of these right, uh, you win a CES of your very own. That is Chase Edward Stanlington. I knew. That's not my real name. He's, he's lying, that is his full name. Stay out of this. And you can have Chase for as long as you want. All right. We can sit down and come up with what CS stands for. Link, the future of bowel evacuation is finally here. Say hello to the new me, the modern toilet for the modern pooper. This toilet connects to the internet. It's got voice activated bidet control and it even streams your favorite music. That's right, it streams, streams. while you stream. <laughs> got there first. <laughs> It also tracks your water usage so you can know if your family members are really letting it mellow like they say they are. Is this toilet real or fake? Smart toilet. They're smart fridges. Mm -hmm. uh, they're smart lights. Something you said in there threw me <laughs> off. It yep. just seemed like a... Intentional. Like, like it streams music, I don't believe that. Mm. But that's, that's the one thing that's throwing you <laughs> off, huh? I, I, just, I think that's a line they wouldn't cross. So I'm gonna say no, you made this up. Link, you're wrong. This is... Of course real. Yeah. It's made by Kohler. There Where is, is it? That's it. It's, I don't see it. It looks like a hamper, but that's it. You Are you see, serious? In the next picture, you can see it opened up here. So it's super, <laughs> super cool and sleek. And check I hope out, that doesn't close down on you. No, I Or think, your parts. But hey, this, here's the exciting part. Check out some of the pictures from the ad campaign. Look at this happy couple. <laughs> Actually, I think that guy's looking in a mirror. Oh, there's more. There's more. Check this out. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And even another one. Did you Photoshop these? No, or this is, is that, all real. Is that literally a toilet in a glass room? Yeah, hey babe, let's lounge in front of our toilet and then take big dumps while our, all our neighbors watch. <laughs> this is what we worked so hard for. <laughs> Hand on hip. All right. Okay, man. Like, bad start. It does stream music? Yeah, it does. Dang. While you stream. Do you fear death lurking around every corner, but also like giant belts? You know me, don't you? <laughs> then boy, do we have the product for you. Introducing Hip Air. The airbag you wear. Simply place this bulky belt around your decrepit hips, and the moment you start to teeter while reaching for your bunion cream, whoosh, the airbags burst out of the belt to save you. Hip air, we put the hip back in. Hey, I fell down and my hips didn't shatter. <laughs> is this real or fake? It is a problem. So this would be an elegant solution. Yeah, people um, fall down all the time. Right, and it, it, can, it can ruin your elderly life. Mm -hmm. let's, let's be real for a second. Let's be real. People fall. <clears throat> okay, now let's move on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think, I've seen the hoodies that turn into a helmet, like poof, 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 poof. Uh-huh, yep. So that, either that you know about that, so you're lying about a belt, mm. and you're taking advantage of the elderly, you jerk! <laughs> or this is real. Yeah. I hope this is real. And I'm saying, this is fake. <laughs> you're wrong again, Link. <laughs> Should've gone to CES. It's real, check this out. This there is it great. Is. There's the hip air. And it's so fashionable. We got a little video, so easy. You just- A little disco music. Snap it right there. <laughs> and then she's ready to go. Hey, play rough with grandma again. <laughs> wow, and it, it looks like one of her internal organs just decided to take a visit with the outside. Well, if you wear your pants over that, then you can go to the club. Oh yeah. You know, like, Look at grandma. God. I don't remember her looking like that mm. on the side. She's wider than I remember. Hips don't lie, girl. Mm. Oh for two. Travel, you gotta get the rest of these right if you wanna hang out with Chase. 
Travel is stressful and hard on your back, but what if you could race through the airport and get a massage at the same time without paying a creepy guy on Craigslist to follow you around? Well, now you can, thanks to this new Traveler's Backpack that has a built-in robotic massager. Whether you're traveling, hiking, or running to class, you can relax as if a 90-pound Thai masseuse is walking on your back. Real or wow. fake? Ba a massaging backpack? Yep. Now, if you listen to uh, this week's Ear Biscuit, you know that I freaking went nuts over massage chairs in a pickup truck back yep. home in North Carolina. Right, so it can be put <coughs> anywhere. Backpack doesn't seem like much of a stretch, does it? If you, put, if you make it really tight, I do think it could work. So I think this is real, which means I'm going to say fake. Opposite day, I gotta start winning. You're right, Link, it is fake. Yeah. So if you want to have a massaging backpack, you're gonna to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just put a bunch of kittens in there, real tight, clamp it down, and as they try to escape, they'll get into yeah. your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way I've always done it. Until they die, right? No, I let them out right at the point where they're about to die. Oh. <laughs> All right, give me, give me another one. I'm on a roll. I feel it. It's common knowledge that the two greatest contributions to modern society are the polio vaccine and the dishwasher. But once the dishwasher washes the dishes, you still have to put them back in the cupboard. Or do you? That's right, those days of bending and grabbing and placing are over. With the new all-in-one dishwasher cupboard, the cupboard is the dishwasher. Place the dirty dishes in the cupboard, turn it on, and bam! The cupboard washes its own contents. What a time to be alive! Real or fake? All of this seems like the future, except your continued use of the word cupboard. <laughs> Nobody says that anymore. <clears throat> what do they say? Cabinet. Cabinet's on the bottom. <laughs> I'm lying. Cabinets on the bottom. But are you lying the top, about right? the whole thing? I think so. They wouldn't say cupboard. Only you would say that. False. You're on a roll, Link. It is fake. I'm gonna have to keep uh, just smashing my dishes after I use them. <laughs> if you're like me, you're tired of sleeping next to a human. Ooh. Touching their flesh at night just reminds you that they are a living, breathing person and therefore have the potential to someday leave you and crush your whole world. <laughs> well, kiss those thoughts goodbye with the nighttime cuddle robot. It simulates real human breathing, sings you lullabies, and best of all, can never, ever leave you. Ever. Love you, Jesse. <laughs> Is this real or fake? Totally real. You're so confident. <laughs> Final answer? Totally real. It's real, right? It is. It is the Somnux <laughs> Sleep Robot. There it is. What? That's a kid. Son. <laughs> Why would you make it into a child? That's no, so weird. It's the thing in the front, man. That's it. It's not the child. Mommy's never coming back, but this pulsating pillow loves you just as much. <laughs> Congratulations, Link. Uh, Chase, CES, Chase Edward Stanleyton. Uh, Quiche. Yeah, just, quiche. Just sit on. Quiche is a Q, I think. Right. Yeah. It should. Eats. S sandwiches. Y sandwiches. You guys can just play that game together <laughs> all day. Yay. Cut. <laughs> Cut erroneously. Sir. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Tina. And I'm Claire. And we're in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Oh. Blue Ridge Mountain Skies. Click the bottom link to watch this episode from the beginning. And click the top link to watch us drink more weird Diet Cokes with mythical chef Tess and Josh in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Like us? Well, follow us. Also, like us on Facebook and then follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Retinlink.